what I've got here are two powder measures. This is the Lee powder measure. This is the Hornady powder measure. And I had a question that was asked about what is the consistency when I'm using these. Well, to put that in proper context, when I have to determine consistency, what am I comparing it to? Well, for me, I'm comparing it to the Lee dipper kit. For me, when I'm reloading, I want to try to make it as time efficient as possible. So yes, the most proper way to get your most accurate load in every single cartridge is to weigh out every single load and then you know exactly what you got. So when I first started reloading, I was using these dipper kits. I'm just dipping in the powder, make sure it's leveled off and pour it in. The cycle that I would do with that would be to basically have a powder funnel, dip my powder in, pour it in, go over to the next one, dip it, pour it. So that's pretty efficient, but I started thinking about these going, okay, well, instead of having to use the funnel, basically the bottom of this is the funnel. So just put the cartridge underneath there, raise it, lower it, and it's already all done and just move on to the next one. So I think this provides a little bit more efficiency in terms of time. But the question is, what about the consistency? So what I want to do is I want to compare, take some charges with this, dump them on the scale, see what kind of baseline we get with this. And then just see what these do as well and see what seems to be the most consistent. I'm going to be using this 2.8 cc dipper, which going into this powder that I'm using is going to be about 39 grains. So let's see how close we get to that whenever we're dipping. Thirty nine. Now that we have a baseline, let's move on to one of the powder measures. Let's start with the lead powder measure. The way the metering chamber is set up now, it was giving me a reading of about 40.5. So let's see how close we get to 40.5 when we do these charges. Forty point four. Let's move on to the Hornady. The Hornady should be about forty point five. Let's we'll see what we get with this. The reason I've gravitated more towards this one than this one, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one. And this one's probably more consistent is the fact that it takes a little bit more time to adjust and dial in the metering gauge here. Whereas on this one, you can actually push this button in, pull the whole metering tube out, put a new metering tube in there, which means you can have multiple ones for different loads. Then all you have to do is make a real fine adjustment right here. Usually takes you a charge or two to get it dialed in pretty close. And this one, you have to fidget with it just a little bit more. So, and then if you really want to change it from a significantly from whatever it's throwing to something vastly more or less than what you're doing now, it's going to require even more manipulation to this and time to get it dialed in perfectly where this one, I can just pop it out, pop the other one in. And like I said, in a couple of charges and adjustment, have this one dialed in pretty quick. Okay, here are my results. The first column is the number of tests that I did. The second column is the Lee dipper kit. And the third and fourth column is the Lee and Hornady powder measure. I sorted these from high to low, so it would make getting the range a little bit easier. When we look at the averages, the averages look good. On the Lee Dipper kit, I got an average of 38.7 when I was going for a target of 39. On the Lee and Hornady powder measures, I got an average of 40.4 when I was trying to hit an average of 40.5. These are all really good and I'm happy with these. The one thing that's a little concerning is when I look at the bottom on the ranges. 
So I got a 2.4 grain difference on the dipper kit and a one grain difference on the Lee powder measure and a 1.6 grain difference on the Hornady powder measure. To add a little bit of context to this, in a very generalized way, one grain of powder could add about 50 feet per second or decrease at 50 feet per second. Once again, I'm using a generalization here, but let's say you had a load that was shooting about 2,800 feet a second and you missed it by one grain and now you're shooting 2,750 feet a second. What does that mean downrange? Well, at 500 yards, you could be off approximately two and a half to three inches. At 1,000 yards, you could be off 15 to 16 inches. So at 500 yards, if you're shooting AR 500 steel targets, depending on the size, but if it's an eight to 10 inch target, you're still very easily hitting the target. At 1,000, if you're missing the target by 15 or 16 inches, you may not be hitting the target. When consistency matters, the Lee powder measure is definitely performing better. Even though it takes a little more time to set up the metering chamber, I probably should use this one if I want overall consistency. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.